in Moscow three years ago at the World Championships. He's got a real chance of making it to the Grand Prix Finals in Fukuoka at the start of next month, but he needs to be on the podium as a minimum here. From Osaka, this is Nobunari Oda with John Barry's Cotton Club. see the personality uh, can he back it up quad triple toe loop combination scheduled first up here fantastic he couldn't have wished for a better start than that that lovely deep knee bend really paying dividends fantastic triple toe on the end Beautifully clean landing on the end of that triple axle. Bullets. Again, no problem. Look at the speed. Yes, the place has come alight in a different league from anything we've seen before. It's interesting, isn't it? Grand Prix event here in Japan, the home of men's figure skating. And yet Japanese nationals is when the pressure's going to be on. So this is almost like an exhibition. It probably doesn't feel like it, but he came out there as if it was an exhibition. He did, didn't look nervous at all, did he? Great reception for him as he came out. And he looked really, really at home here. Thought at the beginning there, when he went into that quadruple toe loop, that he was going to run out of room. Yes. So close to the boards on the landing, but uh, able to bring that back outside edge round and still get the triple toe on the end. It was a sensational skate from Oda. Couldn't have wished for any more. That's his mum, Noriko. I don't think he can believe it. What a character. So and character is now reviewing things. Sorry, yeah, go on. Character is, is the key word that we saw the moment he started. Yes. Yeah, as soon as that music started, it was as if somebody had flicked a switch, wasn't it? Here's that quadruple toe at the beginning. Let's check it's clean. It looks good to me. No problems. You can see how close he was to the boards. Now, he has a, a very good natural knee bend on the landing of the jumps, and that enabled him to get three turns on that triple toe at the end. And again, right down in the knee. Just gives him a little bit longer to get the free leg back and uh, helps him maintain that running edge as well. Here's the axle, three and a half turns on this one, quickly into that rotational position, and again, as clean as a whistle, and there, that signature knee bend. 
that part of the combination spin. He did a, a change of edge on that first part. Now you've got to do, I think it's three rotations after the change of edge, which he didn't do. So he's not going to get the feature on that, I don't think. So I only had a level two on that first spin, but the other two I had fours. There's the Lutz. A little bit, perhaps, of a change of edge at the end of the takeoff of that. So uh, his GOE may go down slightly. But he's going to be in the lead. I would think so. Certainly the best that we've seen so far. That second mark's going to be good. And uh, just to make the point how in important that second mark is, Jeremy Abbott's in third place. He's got the lowest technical score by, uh, by some way, but the highest component score, which is holding him up in that third spot. For the way that he skated. Yes, the, the program, the choreography, the performance, the skating skills, all of that very important. And you know that <laughs> this guy may not have quite the skating skills, but the transitions in the program were good. Presentation, the performance was fantastic. Choreography was good. And when the crowd get behind you, it makes such a difference. Married man now and has a three-year-old son, Shintaro. Anna, a second son who was born in January this year, Shinazuka. But he skated like a whippersnapper. So much energy. He did, yeah. He set the scene as well. Remember, we've still got another couple of Japanese skaters to go. Strange to me that he's been marked down, uh, presumably in second place, uh, technically, but you'd think he'd go into the lead. Yeah, I think those spins let him down. Definitely that first spin. You, you can't do a level two spin, and I'm pretty sure that's all it was. 82-25 is what he's got to aim at. That's uh, rip and score. Yeah, Ripon's component score was 37.85. That's what the second highest component score of the afternoon so far. They're willing the judges to do their part here. How many young ladies there are here. Scores please for nominal. It's going to be in the frame, that's for sure. In his first place.